Thank you for joining me for the announcement of the long list for Financial Times Business Book of the Year. I'm Andrew Hill. We're delighted to showcase the 15 books long listed for the 2022 Business Book of the Year Award, filtered by my FT colleagues from nearly 600 entries. This year, the titles shed new light on some of the most pressing business issues of the moment. Let's take a look. The Long Shot, the inside story of the race to vaccinate Britain by Kate Bingham and Tim Hames. This book takes readers into the heart of the fight against coronavirus, drawing on Bingham's experience after the government rushed her into place as head of the UK's vaccine task force, which, under immense pressure, made an audacious and successful bet on development of the first vaccines. Butler to the World How Britain Became the Servant of Tycoons, Tax Dodgers, Kleptocrats and Criminals by Oliver Bullo. This polemical take on how the country deployed its post-imperial institutions into the service of the corrupt super-rich. Bullo shows that London not only launders the dirty money of bad people, but also enables them to dodge the rules and make more of it. Dead in the Water. Murder and Fraud in the World's Most Secretive Industry by Matthew Campbell and Kit Shalell. In what is more than a simple whodunit, Campbell and Shalell, drawing on a fascinating court battle, unfold the revelations over what happened to the Brillante Virtuoso, a tanker attacked by armed men and set on fire just off Aden in Yemen in 2011. The Price of Time, the real story of interest by Edward Chancellor. A well-timed attack on the credo of low interest rates that has prevailed in recent years at a time when big central banks again need to wield the monetary tool to curb rising inflation. Influence Empire. The story of Tencent and China's tech ambition by Lulu Yilin Chen. Chen tracks the rise of Tencent, developer of China's everything app, WeChat, and the career of its founder, the media-shy programmer Pony Ma. She explains how his creation fits into the Chinese technological and entrepreneurial revolution, while also playing its part in the politics and politicking of modern China. Power Failure – The Rise and Fall of General Electric by William D. Cohen Former Book Award winner Cohen analyzes the extraordinary reputational and financial fall of General Electric once a seemingly impregnable bellwether for the U.S. industrial and corporate sector. Talent. How to identify energizers, creatives and winners around the world. By Tyler Cohen and Daniel Gross. At a time of tight labor markets, a guide to how to identify and recruit creative people, while at the same time ensuring the net is spread wide enough to assemble a diverse and innovative team. Slouching Towards Utopia, an economic history of the 20th century by J. Bradford DeLong. An analysis of the long 20th century from 1870 to 2010, and why, despite the extraordinary increases in material wealth, utopian expectations remain largely unfulfilled. The Rise and Fall of the Neoliberal Order, America and the World in the Free Market Era by Gary Gersel an exploration of how the Western world embraced neoliberalism and the creed of free trade and free markets in the closing decades of the 20th century, unleashing the power of capitalism with unforeseen consequences. Direct, the rise of the middleman economy and the power of going to the source by Catherine Judge. Judge examines the sometimes dangerous rise of powerful middlemen and long supply chains, from banks to retailers to real estate agents. She makes the case for a return to more direct exchange to improve both accountability and resilience. The Power Law, Venture Capital and the Art of Disruption by Sebastian Malaby. A deep dig into the roots of the venture capital industry that underpinned the rise of Silicon Valley, this book attempts to answer the question, did the VCs create the success or did they merely show up for it? Chip War, the fight for the world's most critical technology by Chris Miller. 
This book addresses the complex and increasingly fragile network that builds and assembles the semiconductors, the new oil on which many digital and electric products and services, from kettles to electric cars and nuclear power stations, now depend. Flying Blind, The 737 MAX Tragedy and the Fall of Boeing by Peter Robison. This story of the tension between profit motives and engineering excellence that led to the two fatal crashes of the 737 MAX 8 aircraft in 2018 and 2019, an outcome blamed in part on Boeing's adherence to the efficiency-led strategies. Disorder, Hard Times in the 21st Century by Helen Thompson. This book addresses the tensions that exploded at the start of this year with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Examining domestic, economic and geopolitical strands of recent history against the volatile backdrop of energy politics, Thompson shows how energy still drives some of the most powerful and disruptive political trends. Nomad Century – How to Survive the Climate Upheaval by Gaia Vince Vince paints a bleak picture of encroaching disaster due to unavoidable climate change, but also outlines radical solutions involving migration to the further northern and southern reaches of the globe. Thank you to everyone who entered. It now falls to our expert judges to narrow these titles down to a shortlist of six. Do join Rula Kalaf, editor of the Financial Times, on Thursday the 22nd of September, live on Twitter, as she announces the finalists for this year's award. Congratulations to all our long-listed authors.